When you watch your favorite NFL team later today, you'll see world-class athletes engaging on every play in what amounts to a series of small car crashes. As research continues to tell us, the toll of big, fast men colliding with each other at high speeds is devastating to the players' bodies and to their minds. In our Sunday Spotlight, NBC's Gotti Schwartz looks at the growing movement to introduce a new controversial treatment for those injuries. Tennessee Titans' Derek Morgan might seem like a man of contradictions. A vegan linebacker who is fierce on the field and a gentle family man at home. There you go. He's also the only active player in the NFL openly advocating for the league to change its policy on cannabis, even though he says he doesn't use it himself. It's all about medicine. It's all about the medical uses of it. It's not about guys getting high. It's really trying to help guys, you know, help them with the ailments that come with playing the game of football. To Morgan, it's the NFL's stance on marijuana that he says is filled with contradictions. We're sponsored by alcoholic beverage companies. And a pervasive problem, he says, prescribing opioid painkillers while the use of medical marijuana is banned. I think opioids are way more addictive than the cannabis plant. Something veteran player Evan Britton knows firsthand. Throughout my football career, I probably experienced a handful of concussions. After six seasons playing in the NFL, the gridiron grind has taken its toll. I dislocated my shoulder, herniated discs in my back, really from my ankles to my shoulders to my neck. And the way that that's dealt with in the league is a lot of prescription anti-inflammatories and then the opiates, of course. They made me feel sick. They made me feel irritable. They made me feel insane mentally. So Britton says he gravitated towards cannabis. I used cannabis pretty much throughout my NFL career. Cannabis was the only thing I could come home and it really helped me relax and recover. And it rejuvenated me, not only physically, but you know, psychologically and emotionally for another day of the grind. While marijuana remains a banned substance in the NFL, Britton says it wasn't difficult to get around testing. I stopped my consumption of cannabis in a timely manner to make sure I was free of any cannabinoids before that drug test. Once I completed it, I was able to consume cannabis whenever I needed it. Like Britton, Morgan's biggest concern is protecting his brain from the dangers of the game. A few years ago, he came across research that showed a chemical compound in marijuana called CBD that might have the ability to protect the brain by reducing inflammation without causing a high. And that's really what sparked my interest in it, the neuroprotecting qualities of CBD. Doctors like David Kasserit say there's still a lot of research to be done. I personally think we should loosen some of the restrictions, give players a chance to use in a way that's observed so we can learn what effects medical marijuana is having on them. But the NFL sees marijuana through a cloud of suspicion. Players find millions for failing drug tests. The league's commissioner, Roger Goodell, skeptical, speaking to ESPN earlier this year. Uh, it does have addictive nature. There are a lot of compounds in, in marijuana that may not be healthy for the players long term. He clearly just doesn't understand the full picture. NFL players are four times more likely to abuse opioids than the average American and concussions and CTE. So they need to find a solution. In a sign of possible change, the league recently wrote a letter to the Players Association offering to work together in studying marijuana and pain management, research that could see further acceptance of cannabis and football. The NFL did not respond to repeated requests for an interview, but Morgan is hoping for progress. What do you want to see happen within the NFL when it comes to marijuana? Just more, more acceptance. I think that as a league, you have to look at alternatives um, for pain management. For Sunday Today, Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Los Angeles. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there.